Miss Ingrid Bergman. Honored guest, Orison, and ladies and gentlemen, um, it must be quite a surprise to see me here because um, Orson and I hardly know each other. We've never worked together, and I haven't even been married to him. <laughs> I think the real reason why I'm here must be that I work across the street. So it's easy to run over after the show. It is also easy to come when I was asked if I would appear for a tribute to Orson Welles. I think that it must have been a great burden for him to have made a masterpiece when he was 24 years old. And it must have been very hard to live up to under all those years. And um, also, I have been working in Europe when Orson Welles was working in Europe. And we had hardships, both of us. <laughs> Maybe that's another sign why I'm here. I knew how he was working, and you saw pictures produced by Orson, directed by Orson, written by Orson, narration by Orson, acted by Orson, and uh, closed by Orson. He had done everything. <laughs> Still, he had his troubles, and uh, the joke started in Europe saying that Orson Welles is running out of countries. <laughs> <laughs> now he has come back to his own country, and in great style, and here we are, and I'm so happy that the American Film Institute has asked me to come, so I also can pay my tribute to you and thank you that you have shown the world what real courage is and tenacity and, of course, your dazzling talent. So therefore, I say bravo, Arson, and hit us again with your talent. Thank you.